fate of two people and their families forever changed after a car crash. Hannah Payne, the young woman on trial for killing a man who fled the scene of a car crash, found guilty on all charges against her. Family members of Kenneth Herring say they're finding comfort after 12 jurors found Payne guilty of his death. Atlanta News First, Tori Cooper, inside the courtroom for the verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. It's the one word family members of 65-year-old Kenneth Herring have been waiting to hear for the last five years. It was a relief that, although my brother died over nothing, but it was a relief that we can say now he's at rest. And 25-year-old Hannah Payne has been dreading. Jurors found Payne guilty of murdering Kenneth Herring back in 2019. Herring left the scene of an accident in Clayton County when Hannah Payne chased him down and shot him in his car. During closing arguments, Payne's attorney made one final push to jurors that his client acted in self-defense. This is not some killer. This is not some murder. This is a young girl who got caught up in the wrong situation with a good heart and good intention. Ultimately, it wasn't enough to convince 12 jurors. They saw all of the evidence and they came back with a swift verdict. The jury requested to review 911 calls and body camera video one last time during deliberations Tuesday. 30 minutes later, the jury returned. Informed that you have reached a verdict. And found Payne guilty of felony murder, malice murder, and six other charges related to the crime. Guilty. For state prosecutors, it's a long, hard-fought victory. Relieved, relieved, happy, the whole range of emotions at this point in time. For Herring's family. It's been long and arduous. It was hard on my family. I'll never forget it. Um, it will forever be ingrained in my heart and in my mind. That report from Tori Cooper tonight. Now, Hannah Payne's family was beyond distraught after Hannah was taken away in handcuffs and they did not want to comment. Her sentencing hearing is now set for Friday at 10 a.m.